What's up YouTubers, Edwin Anthony here again, back at it with another video from Resolutions Design, teaching you everything related to Shopify. If you're watching this video, what we're gonna learn today is how to add a video product into your product description. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, let's say you have a product. A picture sometimes might just not be enough. You wanna showcase the product. You want to do different things in a video that people can watch it, educate themselves for many reasons, whether if it be for sales, presentations, or just to talk about the benefits of your particular product. There's tons of ideas if you don't know how to. One of them could be yourself, you explaining it just like in a video like this of how amazing your product is. It could be anything. Here an example. You know, you could say this USB is from so-and-so, and this is amazing, and this is how-to. All you have to do is plug and play, and that's about it. You could describe something like that from the owner, or you could run a contest with your clients and then tell them to record an unboxing experience. When they open the unboxing experience, they get to see the packaging. It shows the world what they can anticipate when they receive the product, and then you share it not just on social media, but also on your website, someone that's non-biased, an actual customer, right? That they really love your products. So that's what we're gonna learn in this video today, a very quick process, and let's just cut right to it. Let's go to the drawing board. All right, let's see what we're working, uh, what are we working with here? Let me get this microphone a little bit closer, okay. All right, so in this particular example, we're back again using Turbo. I'm always using Turbo, I'm waving that flag because it's a very good theme. And it's very well-rounded, but in reality, you could do this with any theme. So don't think that this is something that's exclusive for Turbo, just in case, okay? So if you do run into any issues, then you might need to question your theme developer, whoever gave you your theme. But anyways, let's pretend we have a product that looks like this. Okay, so we have a product that looks like this, and we're planning to have the video fall right under this description. So first, we're talking about a yoga block. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on, then I'm gonna go on YouTube, and I'm just going to go right here and just focus on a random YouTuber who talks about yoga blocks. So I guess shout out to Yoga with Yulania, Lania? Anyways, shout out to you, right? Um, and what we're gonna do here for this example purpose is that we're just going to share this video via embedding. We're gonna go right here to the share button. See my mouse, we're gonna click on right here where it says share, and we're gonna click from these options, we're gonna click where it says embed, right? So we're gonna embed this and let's see some options. Let's go ahead and enable privacy enhancement mode. And basically what that means is that YouTube is not collecting any information until the user actually clicks on the video itself. Um, and if you want, you could show player controls or you could disable that. You could have it start on a specific time frame uh, of that video, but let's pretend that you're happy with it. We're gonna go ahead and copy this code. We're gonna copy this code that you see right here. And then we're gonna go back to Shopify. Let's go back to Shopify. We see this product right here, but we wanna go to the admin section of Shopify. We wanna go to where you see the admin and products, etc. So let's go over here. If you guys don't know how to get here, it's very simple. All you have to do is on this here, let's, let's see if we could zoom in so you guys could see the screen. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you guys could see that. Okay, so let's increase this monitor view size okay click on products let's look for this specific product okay we're gonna go ahead and athletic door block we're gonna click in here and this is the product so right here on this product description you're noticing that it's regular text or in technical terms it's rich text because we have all types of abilities that we could do here we could do uh, bold, we could do this one, that. That's not the area we wanna do this at. We wanna go into HTML mode for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hover over right here where it says show HTML. You see this button right here where it's the less than, greater than next to each other? We're gonna click on that and we're gonna look at our product description. Your product description might be less, might be more, I don't know. Point is, you're trying to search for the last piece of code that was involved in this. And in this case, we have a closing 
paragraph uh, code that's listed here. I'm going to go ahead and press return or enter on your keyboard two times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control paste or control V or copy paste, whatever it is. Right. And we're going to paste that code right there and press save. Once I press save, you'll notice not too much changed here. But when we click this button back to where it says show editor, you'll notice that there is a video there. Now, how does this look like on the front end of your website? Let's go here where it says preview on the upper right hand corner. Click on preview and you'll notice we're back to the product and there we have it. We have a video that's showing on Shopify. Click on it and you get to see Uliana. I think that was her name, right? So questions that you might ask yourself is, well, how do I get rid of like the title at the top? How do I get rid of the YouTube symbol at the bottom? I don't want people to think that it's off of YouTube. How do you get the player out? Well, I think we talked about the player. There's something in the embedding that you could disable the player. Uh, you might have questions such as how do I make it autoplay? That's a whole different topic. We could talk about that real quickly, but long story short, the way that this technologically works in very layman's terms, is that the video needs to live somewhere and where it's living is inside of YouTube server. So whatever YouTube comes with it, you know, uh, they're not charging you technically to, so that you could house your video into that. Like they're not charging you. Right. Um, and therefore YouTube is going to put all their bells and whistles to it. Right. Um, you could try to do Vimeo or Vimeo. Uh, and they also have like an embedding option, which you could just follow the same procedure. Uh, and, and of course, you probably might have a little bit more control when it comes to what should show, what should not show. And mind you that there are some themes that are probably not Vimeo friendly. I want to say that all around uh, these themes are more YouTube friendly uh, due to the HTML, HTML code versus the Vimeo. Now you might ask yourself, well, what about if I wanted this video natively? I don't want it to pull from YouTube. I don't want it to pull from Vimeo. I want it to pull from Shopify. That gets a little tricky. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but it gets a bit hairy uh, because now you want to uh, add more things to the server on Shopify and chances are it is possible, but you might need to hire a developer to actually do this for you. Uh, not to upload the video, but to actually embed a code so that it kind of like can live there. It gets a little bit complicated, right? So I'd say that what is the best approach? The best approach is the approach that I'm showing you. Uh, your customers are not going to care if there is a YouTube symbol. It's fine. And, you know, personally, if it's up to me, I encourage you to do that because Google, uh, excuse me, YouTube is a platform from who? Google. And if it's a platform from Google. That means this has to do with what SEO. And if you got videos playing from YouTube, right, that's a Google business. And then you're trying to do some SEO. The points are just going to go up. So this all just makes sense. Okay. All right. So that's the in-depth explanation as far as how to get this done and why and how this all kind of works. If you like this type of video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, turn on that notification bell. And until next time, thank you very much.